Welcome to Pickens County in Carrollton, Alabama, where today we're going to be walking around the little square here in the downtown area and also talking about a man by the name of Henry Wells, who some say still haunts the courthouse straight ahead. Let's take a closer look. Love these early mornings in these small towns. It's a very windy, windy morning here in Carrollton, Alabama. Straight ahead is the old Pickens County Courthouse. Now back in 1878, a man by the name of Henry Wells burned down the courthouse here in Carrollton, downtown Carrollton. This is downtown, downtown Carrollton, Alabama. Now there's a little plaque out here in the front, Pickens County Courthouse, erected 1877 to 78. It's named after General Andrew Pickens of South Carolina and was established December 19th, 1820. The first courthouse erected at Carrollton was burned on April 5th, 1865 by troops of Union General T. Croxton. A freed man, Mr. Henry Wells was accused of burning the second on November 16th, 1876. He was arrested in January of 1878 and held in the garret of this building. Now legend holds that Wells peered out the north window at a mob that was gathering below. Lightning struck nearby and it etched his image on the window pane right up here. Now legend has it that the mob gathered right here outside of the courthouse calling for Henry. They wanted a piece of Henry because he destroyed the original courthouse which had a lot of deeds and documents and these people were not having it. So they wanted Mr. Henry. Looked out, had his face up against the glass, peered down at the mob that was growing down here and lightning, a storm rolled over and lightning struck and it etched his face right on that window and it's been there ever since. People come all over to see this. It brings tourism here. People come out here just like myself to see this and actually the town has embraced it. They talk about it on the, the plaque there. They also have done live performances of this retelling this story of Henry Wells out here. Pretty amazing. You could go and watch a live stage performance of the lightning bolt that made Henry Wells' face stick against a window. And the reason people think there's some paranormal activity happening here is because this has gone through so many different storms and, and tornadoes and different things and his face still remains on that window. So this is the building that has Henry Wells' face. And the window is right up here. There's actually an arrow pointing I'm gonna get back so we can see it. But he was right up here. They moved him from down below. He was down below in the jail, which I believe was in the basement. And because the mob was gathering right here, they decided to move Henry to the third floor, right up here. And he did say, there was a quote that said that if the mob got to him, he would curse them. Well, in some form or fashion, he kind of did curse this town by leaving his face here for everyone to see when they visit. You guys aren't going to believe this, but I see it right up there. There's four little panes. He's on the bottom right where the arrow is pointing. I can see his face. That is unreal. I can see two eyes in the mouth. That is a little haunting. My goodness, that's haunting. Henry Wells looking down on the mob to this day. Now you guys will have to forgive me for having to talk quite a bit on this video, but they have music blasting out here, which is kind of weird in a way, being such a, a small town. I would have rather been able to take in the, the quietness of this small town, but hey, it's okay. Everybody's getting into the the Christmas spirit here, but you can see his face from back here as well. 
My gosh, that's so wild, man. I mean, once you see it, it's there. It's just very haunting. They also have this set up for distant viewing. So you can put in a, I believe a quarter? It's actually on, let's see if I can get this on here. There it is. That's crazy. They have this set up. So you can, you can see Henry right up there. Every time I look up there, I see it and it just kind of sends some chills. <laughs> Literally gives me chills. That is just wild. After all this time, I'm still there. All right, now I'm gonna make the, the walk around the square. This is the Pickens County Judicial Center here. Courthouse is in the square. We're gonna make the loop. Let's see what this, this small town has to offer. This is the post office of Carrollton, Alabama. Straight ahead. When I found out this story from my father-in-law, I had to come out and see it for myself. That's just one, you know, story you can't let kind of escape you. This is the district attorney and revenue commissioner. This was erected in 1911. It says on the side of the building here, we got a little snowman tipping his hat, welcoming us to, to Carrollton. Hello, Mr. Snowman. The Baptist Church in the distance there. And the post office right here. Excuse the wind today, it's very windy. road signs here letting you know what general area of Alabama we're in. There's the West Alabama Bank right here. And you can see another side of the courthouse. It's right in the center of the town. A little bit of traffic out here. It's pretty cool. Wow, this is interesting. They turned this building here into Santa's workshop, it says. Not even sure what this is regularly when it's not Santa's workshop. This this small town really embraces Christmas though. I'm I'm totally on board with this. You can actually give your letters to Santa here. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. This is wonderful. Whatever this business is. Good old Santa's workshop. Another side of the the courthouse here and they have a giant Christmas tree with the star on top. I love this. A little shed here. I think they sell food or something here because they've got picnic tables. Now I'm sure there's something going on for the holidays here. This, this kind of seems like the, the town that really embraces Christmas, lights everything up. Look at that old pizza doctor and Pepsi sign on the side of that. I completely missed that when I walked by. Straight ahead is the Pickens County College Career Center. And here's Old St. Nick, a little wood cutout of Old St. Nick. That's what I love about small towns, man. They really, really embrace the, the local feel. All right, we're gonna Continue walking around. Traffic is so light that you really can just kind of walk at your own leisure. Made it around halfway done with the square here. And I noticed right over here, it looks like this is where families can walk up and possibly meet Old St. Nick, if I had to guess. Right through here, there's some bricks here with people's names, wow, and look. See Santa Claus sitting right there. Nice little photo op. I was looking at the side of this building, how old this is. Look at that. There's brick behind those windows. That's very interesting. 
And there's an attorney at law office right here. And I believe that's the police station straight ahead. Seems like they have another photo op here. Look at this old brick side of the building here. A lot of history. And in a way, it's storytelling. Just like in theme parks that I visit, you know, quite often, there's, there's storytelling with the architecture and the shape of the buildings and the color. And, you know, this is also storytelling here, just done naturally. Tells the story of the town and what it's it's been through and what it's currently going through and what the future holds, in my opinion. There's a little church down here. It seems like there's a diner. Someone's house right here. Could be offices, but at one point I'm sure this was someone's house. And we're back almost where we started. Got some statues here in front of the courthouse. I can't believe we we did this. I wanted to see this once my father-in-law told me the story. And I did it and I saw his face, Henry Wells' face. Still looking over and almost haunting the town to this day. Okay, I'm gonna cross back over to the, the front of the courthouse here. It's a really cool building, you know, a lot of cool buildings like this in these small towns. The architecture is just unreal. You know, and these, I think the jail was actually down in the basement of these places, you know. It wasn't, wasn't luxurious, let me tell you. The old steps leading up. And we're back where we started. Street sign right here says this is Tuscaloosa Street. That's Tuscaloosa Street right there. See an old church actually in the distance. Very old church right over there. I'm glad we did this. Visited a small little town in Alabama and had a ghost story. One more look at Henry Wells. You can see his face right up there in that window. And one last look. Pickens County, Carrollton, Alabama. We came, we saw, we took care of business here today in this small little square, small little town of Carrollton, Alabama. This was a lot of fun, but I think our adventure has come to an end, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, click the thumbs up button next time you're here in Pickens County, Carrollton, Alabama. Tell someone, World of Micah, even if that someone is Mr. Henry Wells right up there that little window. See you guys on the next adventure. Look up the story if you want. I'll post a link down below telling the full story and news coverage of Mr. Henry Wells. Fun little ghost story in a fun little small town. See you guys later. Stay weird. Goodbye.